there's nothing more important to the physician-patient relationship than trust. An important part of that trust is our patient's faith that we will never reveal the extremely sensitive information that they tell us during the course of their care to anybody else. It's that faith that makes nurses and doctors the most trusted professionals in America. And to enable that faith, my med school classmates and I, almost a decade ago, all swore the UCLA Healer's Oath and promised that we would never reveal our patient's private information. Of course, a lot has happened in the world in the last 10 years. These days, it seems that in almost every single part of our lives, we are expected to surrender our privacy, to use the tools we use every day, from social media, to banking, to even our home appliances. Sometimes it seems like healthcare is the last bastion of privacy we have left. And what has caused this Armageddon in privacy? Well, a big part of it is the advent of machine learning. What's machine learning? It's a methodology by which you can take data you've collected from many, many people and use it to train a valuable predictive model. For example, imagine taking 100,000 MRIs from patients all around the country and using them to train a predictive model that could tell you if you had cancer or not. The value of such a model would be incredible. If we had a computer that could tell us if we had cancer, we could deliver much better medical care at much lower cost with far fewer errors. But if the price of that algorithm is that we have to give up the last bastion of our privacy, is it really worth it? Or is there a better way? And of course, here at UCLA, we're working on a better way, and it's called federated learning. Here's how it works. Instead of taking our patient's private data and sending it to somebody else so they can build a machine learning model, we train local machine learning models at every site where our patients are seen for care. We use whatever data is available locally, and once we're done training it, we sprinkle it with a little bit of privacy-preserving noise to de-identify it from any patient information. We then send all of those local models to a global federated server where we aggregate them into a global model that takes the best part of each local model and combines it together. We then take that global model and send it back to every site where we continue to train on new data that they collect from their patients. And we iterate this entire cycle over and over again until we have the best possible global model. And importantly, along the way, we have never revealed our patients' private information to anybody else. Here at UCLA, we're trying to validate this approach by forming our own little mini federation comprised of ourselves, the NCI, and SUNY. And together, we're trying to build a federated model to predict whether or not there's cancer or not in a prostate MRI. The idea here is simple. If we can validate the approach on this use case, we should be able to scale it up, both by adding more sites to our federation, but also by adding more tasks, like the analysis of CT images or x-rays, with the overall goal being we want to show that we can build the state-of-the-art models that our patients need without sacrificing their privacy in the process. Thank you.